Hey everybody, it's people Dude here, and if you're here, you're probably here wondering how do I make a tournament on Challenge, the bracket site we use for the tournament's chat room on Pokemon Showdown. It's very simple. If you already have an account, and if then it's easy. You just go to the tournament section after you click your name up here. I already am there, so it's just going to take me back to the same exact place. It doesn't really matter. If you don't have an account, it's very easy. You just sign up. It's, there's really nothing more to it. Now, after you do that, you just click this big blue box that says New Tournament to make one. For the sake of this, we'll just name it Test. Now, the URL, you could put, I don't know, just stuff. You can put anything you want here, all jokes aside. But what I usually do is, I'm lazy, so I really don't care about, and I really don't care about coming up with my own URL, so I just go like that. It gave me a URL of its own set of numbers and letters that is now my URL you can do whichever tournament you want to whatever kind of tournament you want and by that I mean the type single elimination double elimination round robin or Swiss single elimination is as the name implies you get one chance and you're gone if you lose double elimination is that the name, name implies again if you lose you get a second chance you get two eliminations then you're out Round Robin is a tournament type based on the amount of points you have at the end. The points are based on the amount of wins you have and the amount of the amount of ties you have, of course, and the amount of losses you have. I mean losses don't count for points, but they still hinder your score. Swiss is something none of us really get into. Swiss is way too complicated and if you want to dive into that and try it out for yourself, go right ahead. I wouldn't recommend it though, trust me. Now you can include a match for third place, that's just self-explanatory, it just creates a match for third place. The two losers of the semifinals duke it out for third place. You can customize your round labels by clicking this box right here, that just basically makes it so each round you can name it whatever you want. You can name round one like super awesome round and round two you're even more awesome if you made it to this round, stuff like that, all jokes aside. Now for signups, this is one of the most important parts that people usually get wrong. You can provide a list of participants, very tiresome, takes a lot of work, or you could just go like, bam, host the sign up page, and then bam again, make it publicly, vis publicly visible. Rather, Once you do that, you, your page will be publicly visible, You can, people can sign up for your tournament as long as they have the link. Now you can specify a number of participants, usually it's recommended that you go with increments that will make the bracket look nice what people usually do is 16 it's a nice number it's nice and small but big enough for the tournament to be alright and people to have lots of fun you can put the game that you're playing for this case we'll put Pokemon Showdown I mean there's really no reason to if you post the link on Pokemon Showdown they will assume you're gonna do a Pokemon Showdown tournament but nevertheless there it is description you can put whatever you want for the description you can tell them any custom rules that you have just a bunch of different things just whatever you want to put there you have even these little options right here like bold italics just stuff like that now we dive into other things such as the advanced options right here you can quick advance that's recommended the reason for it being it makes the tournament a lot easier to report scores for instead of having to report an actual score you can just report who the winner of each match is see Report winners only, not scores. Easy. These I wouldn't mess with. They really don't matter too much. Now, whether or not you're a trusting person or you just don't want people to do their own score reporting or their win reporting, rather, you can allow them to or you can not allow them to. Usually, it's recommended that you allow them to because it's a lot less work for the tournament organizer, but that's up to you. And if you, in the event that you have to leave early, just share admin access with somebody you trust. Type in their challenge name. I'll type in Dmock, and his name Dmock2008 comes up. I could leave my tournament in his hands if I have to go. Now let's save this, shall we? Save and continue. Now that that's saved, you just click this hyperlink, the sign up hyperlink rather, and it'll take you to this page. This is your sign up page. It is publicly visible. You just go up here, copy and then you're ready to go get approval from from a ranked user in the tournament's chat then you can advertise your tournament people will join everyone will have a lot of fun 
and thank you so very much for watching this tutorial on how to make a tournament. See you guys later. See you guys.